transcribing and translating a video. Hey guys, how are you doing today? In this video, we will show you step by step, straight to the point, how to transcribe and translate a video with Streamer by Vidtune. So let's get you started right away. I'm right now inside my Streamer by Vidtune account. So the first thing you would do is to add a video. There are three ways you can add a video here. The first way is from your computer, which you can drag and drop it here or by selecting a video file, clicking on this button right here. Second way is with a YouTube video URL by clicking on this red button right here and adding a YouTube video URL. And the third way is by searching for YouTube Creative Commons videos on any topic using this search bar here and clicking on the search icon. These videos right here have a special Creative Commons license, which means you're allowed to reuse them for free. You can preview a video clicking here and you can add the video to your project by clicking on the download icon. Great, now let's move into transcribing a video. I would like to work with a specific YouTube video, so I will click on the YouTube video button, add my YouTube video URL, and click on next. My video will be fetched from YouTube. I would need to select the video quality and click on download video. Great, that was easy. Now I would like to translate my video. For doing that, I would need to click on Video Translator. And there you have it. First things first, I need to name my project. And also, I will need to select the language of the video I just added. English United States is the default one. But if you uploaded a video in another language, you have to pick that language in which your video has been created in. My video is in English, so I will leave the default option and click on Create Project. You will then be redirected to the timeline. And here is the timeline where you will be able to translate your video into as many languages as you want. In order to translate your video into another language, you would need to generate what is known as subtitles, which is taken from the original video and it's something done for you 100% automatically. For doing that, click on Generate Subtitles and click on Start. As you see, the app does everything for you like converting the video to audio, uploading the audio file to the Google Cloud Storage, converting the speech to text using Google AI, and completing the video transcription. Awesome, that was great. Then click on Close. And there you will see all of the subtitles there in just a click. This is terrific, guys. Let's preview it. Would you like to introduce yourself? Are you famous? Star. All right. How about some animal sounds? Can you do a red wolf? Ow. How about an owl? <laughs> Great. As you notice in the video, there are subtitles automatically added to it in the original language of the video. You are able to move those subtitles here in the timeline and to edit them in the subtitles panel. Here in the timeline, you are able to move the subtitles to perfectly fit the timing in your video. But let me tell you, this amp is highly accurate on this, but still, you can check if all of them perfectly fit the timing of the video. Here in the subtitles panel, you are able to edit the text of each subtitle. If you want to make the text of the subtitles to be 100% accurate, then you can do so here. Remember, this transcription is made by software, so there may be some minor errors which need to be fixed. Or maybe you would like to organize each group of words differently. For example, you can look for spelling mistakes, punctuation marks, and grammar. But of course, for this, it's important that you know the original language of the video very well. You can also add a new subtitle. You can place it in the timeline by editing its timing. And you can also move it to any place. Remember, the new subtitles you add should be in the same language as the others because it will be translated together with all the original subtitles. And you can also delete it as well as any other subtitle. Great, now the video is ready to be translated. I would like to translate this video into Italian. For that, we need to translate the subtitles first. For doing that, click on Subtitles and click on Translate. Select the language you want to translate the video to. and click on Start Translation. 
and click Done. Great! You see, all of the subtitles have been translated into my chosen language, including the new subtitle I decided to add to the video. Now let's generate the voiceover for my Italian video. For doing that, click on VoiceOver and then click on Options. Here, you will be able to pick the voice technology, which we recommend WaveNet. You can select the gender, the voice name, and also speed of speech. You can click on Speak It to listen how the selected voice will sound. Vorresti presentarti. If you like it, click on Save Changes. Now, I would like to show you what this little function here is used for. This function right here will let you override a specific subtitle. For example, if you want to use a different voiceover for a specific subtitle, you can change it here. Just check the override option. Select the new voiceover for the selected subtitle, let's say female. Listen to it. Sono un nuovo sottotitolo. And if you like it, click on Save Changes. Great, now we are ready to generate the new voice. For that, click on VoiceOver once again and click on Generate VoiceOver. And click on Generate. Great. And right below the subtitles track, you will see the audio track with the new VoiceOver generated. And let's listen to it. Vorresti presentarti. Sono un nuovo sottotitolo. Sei famoso. Che ne dici di alcuni versi di animali? Puoi fare un lupo rosso che ne dici di un gufo? Great. It is just perfect. And also you see how the new subtitle I added is there together with the rest of the subtitles and also with the different voiceover I decided to add to it. Guys, this is just terrific. Let's try another language, which you can do here in this same project. For that, pick the original language here. Click on Subtitles. Translate. Let's try Spanish. And start translation. Great, let's generate the new voiceover now. Te gustaría presentarte. Te gustaría presentarte. Soy un subtítulo nuevo. Eres famoso. This is just crazy cool, guys. Something important for you to know is that if you would like to edit the volume of the audio of the original video, as well as the volume of the audio of the voiceover generated, you can do so by going to the video tab. Here, you can even hide the subtitles too. Aria presentarte. Soy un subtítulo nuevo. Now, let's save our project clicking here. Here, you can render your video. As you notice, you can decide which language you would like to render. You pick the destination folder as well as be able to name your new video. And in output type, you will be able to decide the type of the video you will generate and then click on Render. Guys, this is such an awesome tool, so enjoy it as much as you wish.